Hey everyone, it's Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro and today I'm going to do a little perspective correction and I'm going to do it with the, uh, the lens correction filter in Photoshop. And so let's go ahead and uh, go up to the tool, or I'm sorry, to the filter menu and go down to the distort and then over to lens correction and bring up the lens correction dialog box. And the big thing I want to do here is I want to I want to correct that vertical perspective because it's really, you know, everything's kind of falling away because of the way I had to tilt the camera. So over here on the right hand side, you can see there's a vertical and a horizontal perspective correction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that vertical perspective. I'm going to start dragging it to the left because that's really what I want to correct. I want to correct that vertical perspective to make those buildings start standing up a little taller than what they're supposed to be. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle because as you can see the buildings are kind of listening to the right there a little bit. So I can grab this angle and go, oops, let's go the other way with it, and straighten everything up by changing the actual angle of the image itself. And normally I turn that grid off, but for this purpose I'm going to leave the grid turned on because it really does help me get a nice straight angle here and then let me bring it back just a little bit and then correct that vertical perspective just a little bit more and I think that's about it right there alright now let me go ahead and turn off that grid so you can see where we are and I can do a preview that's before and that's after don't worry, worry if everything looks a little fuzzy it actually renders better when you get back to Photoshop um, the other thing I might do is instead of using this transparent edge on here I'm going to go ahead and change the edge to an edge extension and what it does is it basically just looks at all the edges where it had to leave a transparent and drags them out and stretches them which normally if a, on a, a well-lit photograph would look kind of goofy but because everything's dark around the edges here it's not too bad and I'm going to crop anyway so I'm going to go ahead and use that to fill in. Alright so here's my before and after and you can see there's before and there's after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this first and I think right about there that's what I want that's my image right there and I think that looks pretty darn good uh, as far as the uh, perspective correction goes and certainly nothing that I could have done with a normal lens I would have had to use a shift lens to get this to uh, work out uh, any other way so uh, the only other thing I'm going to do this image is I'm going to go up to image and I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to go to the shadow and highlight tool and first I'm going to tone this down uh, it always pops the shadows up to 50 percent and I just want a little bit of a shadow fill in here just to lighten up those those shadow areas just a bit and then I'm going to go to my highlights and I'm going to take them up just a hair and actually I'm not taking it down I'm actually lowering the highlights because the highlights are pretty bright so I'm lowering if it, you can see there's hundred percent I'm going to take it about fifty percent and lower those down and the last thing I'm going to do is a little bit in this adjustment box I'm going to take the midtone contrast and I'm going to raise it up and that's kind of like the uh, the clarity slider in uh, camera raw and in Lightroom and in develop module and then finally I'm going to take this color correction and I'm going to move it to the right just a little bit because that's just like adding a little bit of uh, a little bit of vibrance or a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of a saturation boost and there you go. That's uh, that's my final image. Um, so go ahead and uh, you know if you've got something that needs a little perspective, instead of maybe just jumping right to the free transform, give the uh, the lens correction filter a try. I think you might like what you find. All right, I'm Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro. I'll see you later.